Hey guys, how are you? Dorothea here of Zingar World. Today I'm coming at you with four cultural norms here in Brazil that I've noticed that I think are a little bit strange to someone who's not from here or who's never been here, but they're things that I am totally on board with. The first two have to do with personal hygiene, the first one being in regards to dental hygiene. People here take their dental hygiene to the next level. They're always brushing their teeth between meals, flossing between meals. They usually have a toothpick on hand to be taking things out of their teeth. And I really like this because, you know, everyone here is smiling, I feel like, and it just makes their smiles that much brighter. And I myself pride myself in having good personal dental hygiene. And so it, it's not abnormal for me to be, you know, on board with that and doing as the Brazilians do and cleaning my teeth regularly. The second thing having to do with hygiene is showering. People here shower <laughs> an abnormal amount, I think, at least two times a day, if not more. They rinse off. It's generally not a long shower. It's just kind of a rinse to wipe the grime of the city and the heat and the sweat from you. And then you just feel clean and go about your day. And then a few hours later, you do it again. This was a little strange for me, but after living here in the favela and having to walk up these stairs, every single day, that's the first thing I do is just get in the shower to cool off. It's hot, we're getting into summer now, and so it makes sense. Speaking of summer and the heat, people here will generally only drink their drinks if they are ice cold. Uh, they even use the word gelada, which is like frozen. Even though they're not literally frozen, it needs to be really like that cold in order for you to drink, because if it's not, then it's just like, why are you drinking it? It's just lukewarm and it's disgusting. Drinking, eating, socializing, these are all communal activities that they take very seriously and generally you're not doing any of that by yourself. Therefore, it's almost impossible to find a beer in a personal size. If you're gonna buy a beer, then it comes in a liter and you have to you know, share it and pass it around the table. That's kind of what's expected. And in order to keep it cold, what they do is they put the beer in like this, I forget what it's called, I'm losing my English, but it's like a container to uh, to keep it cold on the table and then what they have is these little glasses that everyone has and you go around and pour the beer in these tiny little amounts it's like barely bigger than a shot glass I feel like you could just swing it all back in one go at first I thought this was really strange but then I asked and they explained to me that it's to keep the beer cold of course because when you're only drinking in these tiny cups and the main source of the beer is cold on the table, then every single time you go and get a refill, it's still gonna be cold. The last thing was really strange for me, but um, I, I think it's cute and I like it. I am a girl and I have a purse and when I go in somewhere, I generally will put it either on my seat or on the floor and I don't really think to put it on the table because it goes on the floor and it's kind of gross to put the germs from the floor onto the table. So I was really struck when people would kind of go in and just take my purse and put it on the table or on the chair, you know, if it was on the ground level, that like wasn't okay. So finally I asked like, why does this matter? Why do you guys care where my purse is? And they said, oh no, 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 it's just a superstition. Like we have this idea that, you know, if it's on the floor, then it's a bad omen and you're not gonna bring money to you. And it's just a superstition, but I really like it. I think it's cute. I've started doing it because that's what you do here and it's weird to put your purse on the floor, I suppose. Anyways, if it's gonna bring me wealth in the meantime, then why not? <laughs> All right, that's what I have for you. If you like this video, if you wanna see more like it, please let me know by liking this video and commenting down below with any questions, any comments, anything if you thought this was all normal stuff to you or if it was different let me know I'm curious what you have to say as always you can follow me on Instagram at Zingar World or on my blog zingarworld.com and I'll see you guys next time ciao ciao